Hello and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Today we're going to be looking at a concept builder on uh, physicsclassroom.com. It's the first one under the topic Waves and Sound. The title is Frequency and Period. Um, this concept builder can look at either waves traveling with certain frequency or period or an object just vibrating back and forth in place. Um, so the first level is the apprentice level called Two Truths and a Lie. Keep in mind you're supposed to be selecting the lie, the thing that is not true. Okay, I know that goes against our instinct, which is to highlight the things that are true, but go ahead and select the things that is the lie. So what is frequency? Frequency is the number of waves or cycles that pass a point each second, or if it's something vibrating, it's how many times does it vibrate through a full rotation of vibration um, each second. It's important to note this is not speed, and this is going to be true of a lot of these. The lie will be the thing that makes you makes frequency sound like a speed. It's not how many meters it can go each second, it's how many cycles it can complete each second. We see frequency is measured in units of per second, or often you'll see that written as cycles per second. Okay, cycles per second, or usually we just use the phrase hertz after James Hertz, somebody hertz who uh, did a lot of work with this in the world of physics. The other word that is key, obviously, is period. A period is the amount of time it takes for one wave or a cycle to happen, to pass a, a wave to pass a point or a cycle to happen. All right, so you start the stopwatch when the crest of the wave gets there. When the next crest gets there, you stop it and you have one period. Okay, so our equation that relates these two is that the frequency is equal to one over the period. Okay, or the period is one over the frequency. Either way is fine to put it. These are inversely proportional to each other. In other words, as the period increases, as it takes more time for each wave or each vibration, then the frequency will decrease. If it's taking more, more time for the waves to get there, then fewer waves are going to go past each second because each one's taking longer. All right, so uh, using that information, that should get you through the apprentice level. If not, leave a, a comment in the questions below, a question in the comments below. Next level is master level, and they got two types of problems. One gives you numbers, one gives you graphs, which really are numbers, okay? Um, but they have them either way. And they basically ask you which one, case A or B, has a greater frequency or a greater period. Well, just keep in mind the definition here. The number of waves that pass a point each second is the frequency, and period is the amount of time it takes a wave to pass a point each second. So here they give you 10 waves, 15 seconds. Well, then each wave went by in 1.5 seconds, right? If 10 waves went by in 15 seconds, you can just do 15 divided by 10, then you have the period of the wave, 1.5 seconds. Here it would be 1.2 seconds. So this one had a greater period. Well, we know they're inverse, so if this has a greater period, it's got a smaller frequency. These waves or these vibrations are happening uh, slower, and so fewer of them happen each second. Okay, so greater period, since this has a smaller period, it would have a greater frequency. Same thing here, just look at how, how long it takes a wave to go by. This one's less than, I don't even know what this is, 0 0.02 seconds. This is less than, it doesn't get to this line. This one gets through uh, almost two full waves before that line. Or if you want to count the total number in one second, you could count crests. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And approximately six waves go by in 0.1 seconds. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So clearly more waves are going by in the same amount of time. So that's a greater frequency. This one more time per wave. And so that's a greater period. So basically just how scrunched together they are. And as we get to the wizard level, you'll need to do a few calculations. This is just what I was telling you written down as a formula. So the um, uh, total, the, the period of something is the total amount of time uh, divided by the number of complete cycles. 
like on the last page, as we did that, um, we had uh, 15 seconds divided by 10 uh, cycles. Um, and so we got uh, 1.5 as our seconds as our period. And if we want to do the frequency for that, we'd have 10 cycles divided by one, uh, 15 seconds, excuse me. And that would give you two thirds or 0.667 uh, hertz. Okay, hertz is the unit for um, frequency. And a hertz is the same thing as the number of cycles per second, as we saw up here. Okay. All right, let's do the two problems that we have here. And that will be it for this uh, video. So here we see that we were trying to find the period. Oh, let me read the question. A child in a swing makes seven complete back and forth motions in 21.7 seconds. Determine the vibrational period of the child along with the corresponding unit. And you'll have multiple choice for the units, but you have to type in the period. So period T is the equation for period. Um, and so we put the total amount of time, which was 21.7 seconds. Okay, and we divide that by the number of cycles, which was seven cycles. And 21.7 divided by seven gives us 3.1 seconds. So you just type in 3.1 seconds and you're good. Over here, we're calculating for frequency. Okay, usually a little bit of a curly F there, but kind of a lowercase f. Um, and we do number of cycles, which was seven, divided by the number of seconds, 21.3 seconds. And we divide that and we get, uh, our calculator says point three, two, eight, six. That's an eight, but we're about to race it. Uh, the directions tell you to use three significant digits. So we've got one non-zero digit, another digit, and a third digit. That means we're cutting it off here. Notice our next number is greater than a five. So we will round this up. Instead of being an eight, we will put in a nine. Although I believe if you put in an eight, it still works. So, and then our units is per second. So kind of one per second, which is a Hertz. So you will choose Hertz for frequency. Okay. The only thing choice you have other than seconds and Hertz is meters per second, which is just because some people think of frequency as speed. And so that's an option there, but don't buy it. Don't bite. It's not true. It's not true. So no meters per second. It's either seconds for period, seconds for the period, or hertz for the frequency. All right, good luck puzzling that out. Um, if you get it wrong, just go back and forth. That's a wave or a vibration joke. <laughs> uh, click that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you the next time on Scientific Adventures of Beard.